If your accounting firm is still using Adobe Acrobat to manage your 1040 work papers, you need to see this. Today, an app that gives you an AI-powered checklist to gather documents for every client tax return. It handles all the PDF document organization for you automatically in a web-based PDF editor, so we can, we can finally stop it with Adobe Acrobat. Seriously, I once bought an 80-year-old tax firm. We did a bunch of 1040 work, and we estimated upwards of 30% of our professional staff's time was spent doing what we're about to fully automate, chasing clients for documents and just fussing with the formatting inside of Adobe Acrobat. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bulk create all of next year's 1040 document lists now, like you can do it today. I'll show you then how to use AI to simplify the document gathering process. I'll show you a way to see the status of info collection on every single 1040 in your firm, whether you got 10 of them or 10,000 of them, and how to do the actual work paper prep in the same AI-enabled system. It's super cool and one of very few AI apps right now in the tax space specifically that are real, that are more than a landing page that have raving fans. But let's get into it. I wanna show you how it works. First, here is Stanford. And let me show you something you can actually do now to prepare for next tax season. We're gonna generate our binders. Let's say these are returning clients. I got a pile of assert backups that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pick 2024 because my backups are actually from 23. It shows you how to export all the backups out of Lacert. I'm just gonna drag the backups onto here. Import all 13 clients. Make those binders, big boy. In the meantime, right now for what you're seeing, Stanford supports CCH Access, Pro System FX, Drake, Lacert, Pro Series, UltraTax, and ProConnect. Stanford's got a deep integration with Carbon coming soon. They're also working on a Zapier integration for this next upcoming tax season. How are we doing? Binders are already done. That guy just put a lot of tax data in there. I don't know how I feel about that. Stanford is AICPA SOC2 certified. They tell me data is encrypted both at rest and in transit. Stanford's actually been around for like two or three years. It's not one of the like, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of like tax apps cropping up right now. Stanford, you can see it in the maturity of their product. They've been around. Okay, look at this. We got all these clients here. You can see the number of items we need to gather. Let's go into this one. Here is John and Julie Doe's binder. And here is John and Julie Doe. Uh, hello. Hi. Very nice couple taught my Sunday school class growing up. This is a dynamic checklist of all the things that we need from them based on their prior year tax return. Now I've got a document here. John loves his smartphone pictures, don't you John? That's right, you can literally just drag and drop that file onto Stanford. And it's now uploading. Now it comes up here to processing. See it says it's uploaded by the firm. Both the client can do this or we can do this. We're gonna talk more about that in a bit. But watch this. Bing, it checked this item off. Smart, right? It figured out what it was. Not so fast, warning. Tax your mismatch, expected 2024, but got 2023. So I'm gonna uncheck this. This isn't actually the file that I wanted, right? So I'm gonna come down here to our checklist. Get that right out of here, John. That's not what I needed. This is our firm's internal view, but check this out. If we poke Stanford in the eye here, it takes us to the client view. The client can come in here and upload the files directly if that's a thing that you can get your clients to do. There you go, mark that item off. It has the same functionality where they can just kind of drop files here and it'll figure out which ones are which. But if we flip back to the firm's view now, this has now been updated and this is the power of Stanford is you've got this sort of two-sided thing going on where you can push it out to your clients that will actually do that stuff. But because in 1040 world, sometimes it can be a bit like pulling teeth to get those folks to go and use your client portal, you can also just do it internally. And so if people are mailing you information, dropping off information, emailing you stuff, no matter where it comes in, you just drag and drop it here onto this dynamic AI checklist and it'll tick off the items that are in while staying in sync with the external version that a client can see. And so you can do stuff like this. I've got now this bundle of docs. Look upon my bundle. Got a W-2 here, 1099 interest, 1099 div, 1099R. Just drop that bad boy on a stamp and now it's processing these. A few moments later. Okay, it's done. These are now hanging out in a section called bundled documents. We hop in here. It says we detected multiple documents in one. Would you like to split the documents? I sure would. And we can now see each of these have been broken out into their own documents. I'm just gonna say split. And now it's processing those documents individually. Man, the number of hours that I spent as a junior scanning documents and putting little page separators in them, right? And then coming back to Adobe Acrobat and scooching bookmarks around and renaming everything. What you're watching is all of that done for you. Look at this. It's now classifying the docs. You never have to do this again. And if we come back to the checklist, we can now see the items that have been provided and that we yet again tried to upload another 2023 1099R. Now back to the client view, we'll poke them in the eye again. You can use it for gathering documents, but you can also do it for like more open-ended questionnaire stuff. So from the client view, I'll say enter questionnaire. Let's just say that John's uh, occupation changed to commercial pilot. 
Down four, good buddy. Breaker, breaker, good buddy. Save and close. Then when I flip back to the firm view, right here under checklist, we have organizer. Click that bad boy. You can now see that the field that John changed is highlighted yellow. So it's not only like a home for all of your documents, it's capturing all the narrative stuff and the organizer as well for you. And so if we consider the power of this, the notion anybody can just chuck documents onto this and it'll do the classification and the organization and the renaming for you. But then you consider that across all of your binders. Look at this. Here's John and Julie Doe. We're at five of 10 of all the items that we need. But then look at all these other clients. You can see the status of all of your information gathering all in one place. And that is the, the cumulative work of client submitting stuff, of everybody on your team submitting stuff, regardless of where it comes in. You know how hard it'd be to like gather all this information, the checklist items, that detail in one view. It is like you are sitting at the bridge of the uh, USS last tax season was a lot. Uh, set phasers to done, make it so. Okay, one more super cool thing I gotta show you is the new features in Stanford for work paper prep. So if we come in here to this alphabet W2, you got a whole bunch of annotations right here, like you had in Adobe Acrobat. So you can summon your inner Banksy and scribble all over this stuff. You got texts, you got checks. You got different colored checks because that matters to accountants. Oh buddy, you got stamps, boop boop. Oh look at these, you got numbers down here too. You got linkies, squares, ooh a 10 key. Oh yeah, you can rename all the lines. Scooch, scooch. And you also have comments. I, I despise comments like this. Go away. And this, this is really nice. You have page level sign offs here. Prepared, reviewed, and reviewed too. So I can mark this prepared. I don't actually have my name set in this account, but it does like your initials and then prepared. Same for reviewed or reviewed too. But then look over here on the left-hand side. You got the three dots. So just at a glance, you can see the stuff that's been reviewed and the stuff that has not been reviewed. Then when the project's done, if you want, you can still download this stuff. So you can download a zip of all the documents. You can even download the whole thing to a PDF and you still have a working version of all those annotations, even the 10 key. You got all the bookmarks. Ugh, what, did, what does Acrobat come to? Man, we used to trade Adobe Acrobat 10 keys, like software licenses in my firm, like illegal contraband, because it might've been illegal. That was way after Adobe was trying to force you to the cloud. Anyways, this is very cool, a huge time saver, not just in how you gather the documents, but how it organizes them for you automatically. Stanford says, most firms report this saving upwards of 50% of the total time that goes into intake. And I, I think I probably believe that. Another really nice thing is you can actually sign up for an account and import some clients from your tax software, no credit card required, so you can like give it a play. A lot of platforms now, they require like a contract lock-in to even like try the product, which kind of sucks, right? You don't know if it actually works. Stanford wants you to be able to test for yourself whether it works as advertised. After that, it costs 18 bucks per return, no commitments, no minimums. The credits actually roll over as well if you ended up buying too many. Super cool. Again, I know a ton of firms that are very happy Stanford users. This is not a new AI tool. A lot of cool new functionality, but like it's here, it's working. It is not like other stuff that's like, like they're still figuring it out. The reality is I got a tax season coming up real soon and I want something that I know works. Man, Stanford, it works. To learn more about Stanford, check out the link down in the video description. This has been a demo day and buddy, we got a whole playlist of demo days just for tax firms. Check this one out, it is a rabbit hole. It's, it's probably gonna cost you some money. It's gonna save you a heap of time though. You're gonna find some really cool stuff there.